We choose our locations to remind people dear to us that we're thinking of them, to mark special places. We choose locations that are not too common, so they are in the periphery of the town's eye. At the same time, we also choose locations and sites that are common, everyday objects and surfaces that are so mundane that they are often taken for granted. Once we have worked our charm over them in both subtle and not subtle ways, people might see these locations with a new and more appreciative eye. We want to put a playful message into people's day. We clothe the poles and signs of the town because they're cold in winter. It's a message of love and warmth in these cold, careless times. It's about community reclaiming depersonalised, hard industrial surfaces. It's also about rejoicing in handmade crafts as community art and displaying it proudly. It's infectious. What we do is often called guerrilla knitting, and that's an evocative way to think about how we carry out our work. Imagine a group of women in black creeping along alleyways and hiding in the shadows, then running out to quickly slather a knit artwork around a pole, trying to avoid detection. It's time it me on a sunny road. It's time it me on a sunny Don't change.